I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this interlocking shell stitch which is a beautiful stitch you can see here it almost has a lacy like appearance and uh, is similar on the front as it is on the back so it's a great pattern. Uh, a great design for those reversible patterns. Now this stitch, uh, I have worked it in a solid color, but I've also seen it worked and has a pretty cool effect uh, when you work it in two colors, changing colors at the end of each row. Uh, so you're welcome to do that as well or mix it up, use as many colors as you would like. Today I'm going to be working it in uh, the one color. I'm using the slate green paint box yarn, uh, cotton aran yarn and uh, as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. You can find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video you'll find a link, a direct link, to the free written tutorial for the interlocking shell stitch and that's just down in the description. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here I invite you to take a look around. I do a new stitch tutorial every Sunday morning and there's also lots of other free crochet patterns here as well. Today we are going to be working our interlocking shell stitch in rows. So we're going to start by taking our yarn and by making a slip knot. Next you will make a foundation chain and for your foundation chain you're going to need a multiple of six stitches plus three. Today I'm going to chain a total of 21 stitches. There's 10, 15, 21. Once you have your foundation chain the desired length you're going to begin row one and you're going to begin by working two double crochet stitches into the third chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three and into that third chain work two double crochets. Next you're going to skip the next two chains and work one single crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next two chains and work five double crochet into the next chain stitch. five double crochet all into the same stitch. You are now going to repeat, skip the next two chains, single crochet into the next stitch, skip the next two chains and work five double crochet into the next stitch. Continue it all the way across to your final three chain stitches. Once you come to your final three chain stitches into that you're going to skip the next two chains and into that last chain you will work three double crochet stitches. That brings you to the end of row one. You can chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to single crochet into the top of that first stitch, chain two, and next double crochet five together over the next five stitches. So to work our double crochet five together, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. 
You're going to do that four more times so that you have a total of five. So there's the first one, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, that should be the single crochet, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Two more times, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And one more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You'll have six loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops. That's your double crochet five together. You're then going to chain two, single crochet into the next stitch, and now repeat. Chain two, double crochet five together over the next five stitches. chain two and single crochet into the next stitch. Continue that all the way across. Once you come to your final stitch which was your starting chain, you've chained two, and you're going to finish row two by working a single crochet into that uh, top, the top of that turning chain. You've now come to the end of row two. You can chain three and turn your work. You're now going to work a row similar to row one. The chain three at the beginning counts as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work two more double crochets into the top of that single crochet stitch. So into that first stitch, work two double crochets. Skip the next chain two space and into the top of your double crochet five together work one single crochet. Skip the next chain two space and work five double crochet into the next single crochet. Skip the next chain two space, single crochet into the top of the next double crochet five together and continue that all the way across. When you come to your final stitch, so you have your chain two space and your final single crochet, you're going to finish off row three by working three double crochet stitches into that final stitch. That brings you to the end of row three and really that's it. For the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and three for as long as you would like and then fasten off and weave in your end. So your row uh, two started with that chain one, turn, single crochet into that first stitch, then chain two and double crochet five together and work that across and then the row uh, three, which we just worked uh, with our shell stitches, the five double crochet stitches. 
So continue, repeat that for as long as you would like. Fasten off, weave in your ends, and uh, enjoy your interlocking shell stitch. Thank you so much for joining me on this quick stitch tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.